นสถานที่ดับปีดูเตียงประเทศรถโดยการตีไปชนะปีฟอนมาพีตัวมันเจอโอนปอนยุบจนสถานที่ดับปีโจรวมประกวดพระเจงสมัติเพียบเลือวิญญาาประลองชนะเรือเซปุกายสถานที่ดับปีตูเตียงประเทศวิญญาซาโจเจกดังดาวชีซาเทระนาเชียพิซาขมายหนึ่งวิญญาซาโจเจกดังดาวชีซาเทระนาเชียพิซาอองเล่ได้มีสายตัวปิดให้จันดอกให้ประหอจะปีมองดับปีสามสบิตีดอมองมวยสามสบิตีโรเซียขนงเฟสบุ๊กเพกเนี่ยปันโตเวนรุมวันทมสำหรับประชาชนลิพีแตงออกรวมเมียนโมโตคอมพิวเตอร์นังอาหารูปกรมาหนึ่งตะประเชียงมือรอยหาสะปรำใบเลียนเรียลดาเปียโจรวมประกวดประเจงไอเลนี่ตามตู้รถซับเลยโซนมาพายใบกาเรปรำมวยปรำรอยหาสะปรำโซนแปดสะปรำมวยปรำมวยรอยปรำใบปรำใบรอยแปดสะปรำบุญโซนดับมวยปรำมวยรอยสายสะปีโซนสามสะปรำมวยกัมพูชีนี่สหกาเรียบจอมดอยวิชิตธานซีอีโอหนึ่งซีอีโอมาสเตอร์คลับโอปทอมทุ่มดอยโทนี่กีไอกเตอีออนแคมโบเดียพีเอลซีสหกาโอปทอมดอยโทนี่กีอภิวัตจุนนบอดกรมหุ่นแคมเปญนำปัวจีบเตะชีดมุยคลังหรืออาไรแต่งสรงเลือดทนเทียนมนุษย์คลังดามใบโจรวมกอสางคุณเพียบทนเทียนมนุษย์กัมพูชีอ่อยกันเตะคลังวิชิตสถานซีอีโอตัวตัวสวากุมเซนิสต์มอตตัวกาปดอบันดาเนวิชิตสถานซีอีโอหน้าปารยาบัตกรุ๊ปกรองพฤติกรรมอนตรเชียสเซนิสต์ได้มอบสัปดาห์เนวิชิตสถานซีอีโอนั่งตัวตัวบานกาบอมบักอ่อยคลายเชี่ยบกกระลึกปูกายเนื้อตักนมปูกายเนื้อรบซีปูกายกาโรคเฮยเด็กกระสอบจุกจี้ปีกำนาตามระยะปัจจัยปีเชี่ยผู้กบาลลำดับปีพุ่มลูกเรดสแกนกาเรียนอันวัดเจ้าใดนั่งตัวตัวบานจุ่มนิ่งเปิดประกอบมวยร้อยเพรย์กาบังบักลอยเนื้อจุกจี้ขนมอาชีพนั่งอาชีพกรรมเปิดประกอบกาสับตาบันไทม์เลือดจุ่มนิ่งพิซซ่าจันพิซซ่าอังเล่จุ่มนิ่งคอมพิวเตอร์จุ่มนิ่งตุ่มเนื้อตุ่มนองนั่งจุ่มนิ่งดีใจจีซานเทระนาคาเทเนียคาเงียทเวอร์บรรจบปีบรรจบคาสักษาเนยเป้บรรจบคาสักษาเนยวิชิสถานซีอีโอนิสันนั่งตะตุบันจุ่มนิ่งชุบบ้านหลอกอายเพื่อการนำตู้ในตีจีเนะตักนอมนั่งตะตุบันประจมนกผู้จีมวยวิชิสถานซีอีโอเชิงรวมเนี่ยก่อสร้างทุนเทียนมนุกรรมปุจีอ่อยกันแต่คลั่งเลือชะเจียนนั่งชะอ่อนตระเจียนปอดดมินบอลไทม์ส้มเตะตรงตู้รับเลยโซนมาพายใบกาเร่ปรามุยปรามห้าปรามโซนมาพายใบกาเร่ปรามุยปรามปูนไก่ปรามบูนวิชิตสถานซีอีโอคลายเชี่ยวบุกกระลักปูกายเนื้อนักนอมปูกายเนื้อรบซีปูกายจ่าชิมิบซัวย้อมชมหอมรีวันคือจิตเซอร์ดับบอกปีวิชิไลจีซีมสามกีสุดเลยนักชมชมหอมเฉียงเฮียงนักชมเรียนในฐานะดีดับปีเอในวิชิไลคอนเซ็ปต์แอร์โอนชมซอมจันทรีให้โอนมาปีวิชิไลแบบตุกเยอะนะชมเรียนซัวเขียนมาชมจันทร์เสียงไทยเจี๊ยบเซนในดับปีกอมวยในสระแบทที่อันตรายเจี๊ยบตีแป๊มสกัดจามเปิลเขียนกระทำการบิดที่เนี่ยบรรทอเว้นคือจะการบิดที่มูดอัลล์ออสำหรับจำนวนเซตในดับปีได้กลมปุ่งได้สักแซนในเปย์ปัจจุบันได้บังคับให้ยังบรรจงในเตกุศลได้ยังเมียนนังเตกุศลในการสักแซนในโซดบอยยังของได้เฮ้ยยมกระทำจะปูการบิดที่นี่ตัวคือปัจจิมีนับกักซังหน้าปลอยชีวิตเซตในดับปีติดอัลดับไปบังคับในสมัติพิบได้ครูได้บันบังคับเป็นบุญมากให้เถื่อนยังนั่งเฮียนนังเฮียนเลยถ้ามีสมัติพิมุ้ยขนองกาประกอบไปเจ้าชุมนุ่งได้กูบอยยังจะเฉลี่ยได้ซาแต่เนี่ยเขียมจังบรรจัยสมัติพิบมุ้ยอ่ะเราบ้านเนี่ยเขียมได้เนี่ยเขียมเบียนนั่นติดกันกระดาษกันบังแก่ดับใบเป็นอีกใช้ให้ดับใบใส่เราสมัติพิบบอกคนไอ้ท่านคนไอ้เป็นสมัติพิบปนแหน่เฮ้ยส่วนเนี่ยเขียมบ้านเราตัวบ้านปีศาจจิตใจในขนองกาประหลงมุ้ยนี่ยมสมนายนอมบองโปบองโปบองจังอ๋อเนี่ยได้หน้าที่ดับใบนั่งเบอร์เส้นเจ้าคนไอ้จะมีสมัติพิบตอนเว้นดับใบมีหลอกกาบังไฮปิสมาเทียบดับบอลเนี่ยมันจิ้นห้างจิ้นเซอร์ปุกไก่กันดัดวิเชียร์ไอ้จังตื้อหรือก่อใหญ่ดิ้งตาจีบซาองเล่หรือขมายส้มบังไฮปิสมาเทียบบองโปนโปนต่างอ๊อกเนี่ยจะมุ้ยนังกันที่มันแบบตอนเว้น
ខ្ញុំតែទទួលបានសេចក្តីស្លាញ់ដល់កក់ក្ដៅពីបងប្រោះគាត់ជាអ្នកមើលថែខ្ញុំជានិកមិនថាមានហឹងអវ័យកាត់ឡើងគាត់ខ្លាចជាអ្នកទំនុកបំរុងក្នុងគួសាទាំងខ្លួននៅក្មេងគាត់ធ្វើប្រកាសថាប្អូនស្រីគាត់ទទួលបានការសិក្សាគ្រប់ជ្រុងជ្រួយទទួលបាននៅអវ័យអវ័យដែលអ្នកដុតតេងមាននឹងប្រកាសថាប្អូនស្រីបោះគាត់ជុកជីនៅក្នុងជីវិតអរគុណតែតាយអ្នកធ្វើជាបងប្រលអនឹងជាដៃគូដល់ល្អក្នុងជីវិតខ្ញុំមានដែលល្អគ្មានគូព្រៀបមិនក៏មិនលៀនថ្នាំធ្នាប់មកអេក្សត្រាថ្មីខ្លឹនតិចការពៀបមានប្រសិទ្ធភាពអវងហាយចាំភ្លឹកខ្លាំងកបាន្លឺលមងកបានខំផែនថ្នាំពោជាតិខ្ញុំត្រូវការតុនបន្ថែមខ្ញុំចង់រៀបចំក្រោយល្អចឹងនេះខ្ញុំចង់ខែមស្រាស់មួយទៀតក៏មិនអាចប្រហែលជីវកម្មខ្ញុំបានតើអ្នកកំពុងត្រូវការដាំទុនបង្រៀអាជីពកម្មមែនទេឥឡូវនេះធនីគេអភិវឌ្ឍជនបទនឹងកសិកម្មដោយជួនអនតៀងកំត្រូវសពកម្មសហគ្រីធុនតូចនឹងមិត្តសុំជាមួយនឹងអត្រាការប្រាក់ត្រឹមតែ5ភាគរយប៉ុណ្ណោះក្នុងមួយឆ្នាំកំចេញ5ពណ្ណដុល្លាការប្រាក់ត្រឹមតែ21ដុល្លាប៉ុណ្ណោះក្នុងមួយខែធនីគេអភិវឌ្ឍជនបទនឹងកសិកម្មដើម្បីកសិកនឹងអភិវឌ្ឍសេដ្ឋកិច្ចសង្គមនាំមកជូនដោយវិជាស្ថាន CEO បងវឹកនិស្សិតឲ្យខ្លាយជាបុគ្គលិកពូកែអ្នកដឹកនាំពូកែអ្នករកស៊ីពូកែនឹងខ្លាយខ្លួនជាអ្នកមានថ្ងៃអនាគត CEO Master Club បងវឹកមកចាជីវកម្មឲ្យខ្លាយជាអ្នកដឹកនាំធុរកិច្ចកំពូលធនាគីឯកទេអីអនខេមបូឌីភីអលសីសាមញរហាស់ងាយស្រួលធនាគីអភិវឌ្ឍជនបទនឹងកសិកម្មដើម្បីកសិករនឹងអភិវឌ្ឍសេដ្ឋកិច្ចសង្គមងួនសិថាមានបំរើជូនសេវាដោដាក់នឹងផ្ដូរប្រាក់រហាសតនចិត្តផ្ដោតជូននៅកំចៃសិក្សាដល់និស្សិតព្រមទាំងផ្ដោតឱ្យកាសការងារជាច្រើនកន្លែងព័ត៌មានបន្ថែមសូមទាក់ទងតាមលេខទូរស័ព្ទ0 7 7 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 2 0 8 
Yeah, I'm, I'm also feeling excited. Feeling good? Feeling good. Like you should? Like I should. Okay. <laughs> Now, um, well, what is, what is our topic today? The topic of today is as Cambodia youth, what can we do to strengthen our, our educational, educational system? system? Are you excited about this? Are of course, you, yeah. Do you want to talk about this a lot? Do you want to talk a lot about this? Of course, I want. Okay, so now before before we begin, I'm pretty sure um, our we have also have uh, our new new audiences. So would you mind introduce yourself, Swanda? Would you like to go first? Okay. So um, first of all, I would like to pay my high respect to Brother Sofravit, our facilitator of the program today, and my partner contestant, and especially the audiences. Who are watching live through the Network Dolmen Facebook page? I am Chon Van Ra, a grad 12 student from Belt International School, and today I'm very excited to have been saved from the uh, Network Dolmen Committee, and um, I'm very I'm feeling excited to be here with my partner, and together we will discuss on a topic that is related to um, educational system in Cambodia, and I hope. Everyone will enjoy our speak. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Now, Lida, it's your turn. Um, first of all, I'd like to pay my respect to judges, my partners, and also to audiences that are watching the live show on the Metobank program. Um, my name is Tan Sida. I'm from Phnom Province, and I studied my at Chuang High School, Grad 12. And to be honored, it's such a great opportunity that I can be saved by the judge to retake that position again with a new partner, Savannah and to discuss about the amazing topic that we, which makes me know well about our role in educational system in Cambodia. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much you too, uh, Lida and also to yes. Um Now, before, before we begin, I would like to ask you a little bit like, um, how does it feel to, to be able to come back to school? Like, are you, feeling, uh, are you feeling excited or are you feeling happy that you can come back to school meeting friends? Well, of course, we have to s maintain social distancing, but are you excited? Uh, are you happy about that? Of course, I'm happy because you know when studying at home is not, it is difficult for me because I cannot see face to face with teacher like asking about what I am not understanding about the lesson as well. Mm -hmm. But when I go to school, like when I attend school, and we have a lot of activity at school with teacher that you can see face to face and discuss about the lesson clearly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so what about you? Um, for me, um, I think that after being locked down in during COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic, I was feeling very depressed that I cannot hang out with my friend and stay at home to um, take online class. So it is difficult for us. It is not as same as the physical communication. And after turning back to school, I feel very happy to meet my friend, my teacher, and um, I can receive the lesson a lot than the online class. Yeah, well, I couldn't agree more because I was lazy as well. <laughs> okay. Now, um, okay, without further ado, mm -hmm. well, we will get into, we will get back into our topic. And before we do that, <laughs> Please don't forget to like and share to so uh, to show your support to our contestants as well. All right, uh, our topic today, as mentioned earlier, is that as Cambodian youth, uh, what can you do in order to uh, improve our to our strengthen our educational system? Okay, um, now Lida, yes, um, I hope you're ready because you have three minutes to deliver your speech. Okay, um, before getting to the point, can I ask you guys a question? Sure. Um, can we strengthen our educational system in Cambodia in this generation? Yes or not? Well, of course we can. I believe in our youth. You? Yeah. Well, thank you for your responding. And a topic that is related to education that I'm bringing to the table with my partner to discuss to find the effective ways for improving the educational system in Cambodia. And today's topic is about as Cambodian youth, what can we do to strengthen our educational system? You know, before getting to the point, I would like to inform you about the educational system in Cambodia. The education in Cambodia is controlled by the state through the Ministry of Education and by the Department of Education at international level. The constitution of Cambodia established that the state shall upgrade and citizens' right to quality education at all levels. 
guaranteeing that all citizens have equal opportunity to earn a living. And the state shall adopt an education program according to the principle of modern pedagogy, techn including technology and foreign languages, as well as the state controls public and private school at all levels. And the Cambodian educational system includes preschool, primary, general secondary, higher education, and non-formal education. In a special day, I raised up with several excellent ideas that we Cambodian youth can strengthen our educational system. The first thing is about trying to study hard. On behalf of students, our first role is to study hard. When we study hard, we can escape from living the world of education concerns and become a people person in society as well. And moreover, we will be able to strengthen our educational system to 80 because students' learning is recompulsory to a lot about the quality of education in the country through the result. You know, when the result of students goes down, it means that we have a poor quality of education. In contrast, if the result of students' learning goes up, it means that we have a higher quality of education too. And let me to the second point is about taking part in many competitions, you know. Um, since so now there are some pleasurable competitions which open the way for students and youth to improve their ability, their skill, their talent, their knowledge as well. And therefore, we can both in youth have to give it a go in such a way that we can be a part of developing our educational system in this generation that we are living in. And I highly recommend you to join Net Mentorbin program and Bohat Nam competition, which is held in Peru province every year, and also outstanding students' examination, because you will get the hang of something new from those competitions to improve your educational system, to improve your ability and your perspective as well. And for the last point is about pro bono work. Pro bono work it means working for free, like volunteering, teaching, and helping social work. And volunteering work is gain full support from all of life and many institutions in Cambodia as well, like Cambodian Scots, Union Youth Federations of Cambodia, and also Cambodian Red Cross as well. And you know, we have to do a lot of pro bono work in order to help teaching destitute children who are living in rural areas where they don't have in a school. To let them know about what the importance of education is, to keep them in the loop, and to let them know that if they get educated, how can they use it in the right way. And this is concluded my presentation. Thank you for your listening. Okay, thank you so much, Lida. Yes, wow, what a very astonishing idea. Uh, now, okay, it's so as your turn. You have three minutes to deliver your speech. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> so before we start, I would like to give the definition to the keywords of our topic. Youth refers to people whose age is between a child and an adult, generally from 15 to 24 years of age, and strengthens mean to make something stronger. And education system is referring to the process of how is education is going on. Um, however, it should be noted that education is absolutely crucial for Cambodia as a developing country. The country development strategy focuses on its young, dynamic, and mobile population as a major contributor to the sustainable development goal and social economic. At this point, on behalf of a Khmer youth, how can we take part in fostering our, quality, our educational system in Cambodia effectively? Here are three duties that we can do to strengthen our educational system. First, um, we ought to find the best study methods so that our juniors can imitate our learning style and follow our tips. And um, since the technology is not widely utilized in Cambodia, so I encourage everyone to engage in class activities as much as possible and inspire our friends to take up challenges in various competitions. For instance, I have seen plenty of intelligent Khmer youth attending the international global competitions such as the um, International Mathematical Olam Sasmo debate and so on. They bring back medals and honorable privileges to our country. This really showcases a very significant progress in our education system. Second, we, the students, should communicate closely with local authorities or government um, in either formal or unofficial occasion to discuss every issue happening in education system. Um, we could begin by giving them the constructive criticism about updating the classic 
classic study curriculum or standardize the uh, professional training or technical pedagogy for teachers. And we could also help supporting the student who is living in rural area by donating the stationery or um, the necessary learning material as well. Third, according to the Asian Post, out of 119 countries, Cambodian quality of education is ranked 108 overall. So it seems to me that the success of Singapore can be greatly attributed to emphasis to its emphasis on developing their human resource by improving their education system. Therefore, it would be a great idea for Cambodian youth to learn from countries that have strong potential in thriving their education system to the top, such as the United States of America, Australia, Canada, Singapore, and so on. To sum up, strengthening the education system in Cambodia isn't really a compulsory obligation, but it is what we should do for the sake of our nation. Um, however, I encourage everyone to start utilizing technology in learning in digital education to cope well with the Industrial Revolution 4.0 context in nowadays world. Thank you for paying attention. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, you both like have a very great ideas, like three great ideas thank and you. another three great ideas. So we have six, six great ideas. <laughs> so um, I, I, I can't do math now. Um, <laughs> all right. Now, uh, I have some questions for you guys, and this is a very hard issue since it's COVID-19. Yeah. All right. So um, the question goes to Lida. All right, uh, do you think social media has a huge impact on our educational system during the COVID-19 crisis? Um, thank you for your interesting question. To be honest, of course, before attending school, you know, I learned from social media as well. Mm -hmm. So through COVID-19. So it means that social media in, through, uh, during COVID-19 exists. It's very compulsory for students because we cannot go to school with, that we can say, face to face with teacher or talking with teacher clearly. But, you know, we have to use social media for improving our ability and knowledge as well. For example, like, Last week, my friends mine, they told me the, the bad effect of social media, but I told them that, so you have to adapt to it, to have to receive it, because, you know, we have to do every, you, you have to do something without doing nothing. It's very important for you to take advantage from learning class, mm -hmm. learning online as well. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, what is your ideas about that? Are social media playing a very important role? to like uh to our educational system mm, um thank you for this meaningful question um from my personal perspective i think that social media has a huge impact on cambodia education especially in covid 19 um, um pandemic um as we see that since the school has been closed the students are allowed to learn by social media yeah. through Telegram or Zoom or Google Classroom so that it is a very convenient way to avoid social communication. Mm -hmm. And another advantage that students can receive from social media is that they can receive the knowledge like from the Facebook page of Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport or eSchool Cambodia. And it's, it is such a great source of knowledge if we use it effectively, not to use social media as a platform for playing games or um, chatting with our friends. Yes. Okay, now, um, another question related to social media as well. Since nowadays you've been seeing a lot of fake news or a lot of like, uh, a lot of bad news or something that shouldn't be posted online like for example uh we have the recent augie or <laughs> drama something like this <laughs> now do, do you think do, do you think teen uh, teenagers are spending more time on those stuff rather than um rather than studying online or self-studying to be like yeah do, do you think they spend more or like do you think that teenagers grade dropped because because of learning online or it's because like they are being distracted by the social media from can i start sure sure um to be honest you know uh social media is not, it's not a problem yes but you know actions speak louder than words when you 
promise yourself that you have to learn social media in a factory way so that you have to learn it even if it is difficult for you but you have to try it out it is very important for you to take advantages from you know from many uh, pages like ministry of education cambodia which is like every day for improving educational system in cambodia as well and you can take advantages from those page and also you know yes it's good for you if you do it in the right way okay so it's good for you if you do it in the right way yes. now Zwanda, do you have anything to share um related to the fake news or useless thing um popping up yeah. on facebook i think that it depends on the student's characteristic or commitment like some student they are committed to study hard to um like keep the social media behind they will like receive a good advantage from from studying themselves and um yesterday i went to a coffee shop and i have seen a group of students playing video games instead of um gathering to make a peer learning like a group learning so i think that um the quality of education in cambodia like they fail to educate the children to try to study hard mm -hmm. like they spend most of the time playing games on their phone. all right all right now uh, this question personally goes to you yeah. um as you mentioned in your speech you, yeah. uh, the first point is trying to study hard yeah okay um the question to you is that what uh what can you do in order to implement that or in order to promote or um, motivate youth our youth as a youth yes. we can promote other youth yes. to study hard right what can you do what are the ways that we can uh, do it thank you for mesmerizing question um so you know we have to be a guru model for the children who uh, have a poor study we have to be a guru model for them to follow us follow our tips in learning as well and also you have yourself you have to try to study as well to get a good grade after any examination as well if you get a good grade it means that the, those person who are follow, following you it means that they see your the important your ability it means that they really want to do so they really want to be with you as well mm -hmm. thank you okay uh, now another question goes to Suwanda and this mm -hmm. is personally for you as well so uh, you, you you mentioned that Singapore like uh singapore educational educational system is good and cambodia yeah. educational system ranked uh ranked i think it's around 108 yeah uh, 108th place so and you you mentioned that we should learn from the good countries um but as a youth can we actually learn from the good countries and make a difference like and make any difference in our country do you think it's possible that as us Cambodian youth, since most of most of the uh, older generation people do not give value to uh, our ideas. So since you have a very okay, for example, I have a very genuine idea, and mm. I'm going to make a change to our country. Do you think it's possible to do it as a youth? Um, thank you for this question. Um, I think that it is simply uh possible simply possible <laughs> yeah for <laughs> cambodia to um to adapt a new learning environment from the um the pot um, potential country like singapore or united states or canada like we like um the older generation like our teachers are familiar with the old study curriculum so mm -hmm. if we um add the new learning or the, uh, the new uh, study curriculum they will not be they will be unfamiliar so it's i think it depends on the ministry of okay. education just as what to um like to take some point from the country and um the point that we think is impossible for our country we just leave it behind okay it. okay okay uh now we have reached an end to our second uh to our first session and we will be back in five minutes uh and for the second session, our audience, uh, as you, the viewers, can ask questions to our contestants as well. So if you have any question, don't forget to comment down your question, and our team will pin the question. It uh, will pin the question so that we can use that question uh, in order to ask our uh, handsome contestants. <laughs> uh, you can ask me as well, but uh, I am not a contestant. Okay. Uh, if uh, please excuse us, we will have a break in for five minutes. Thank you.
ដោយវិជាស្ថានស៊ីអីអូបង្វឹកនិស្សិតឲ្យខ្លាយជាបុគ្គលិកពូកែអ្នកដឹកនាំពូកែអ្នករកស៊ីពូកែនិងខ្ល
ហើយអ្នកជួយ nhôm trơ cá tôn bẩn thải nhôm chong riệp chom cào ai lỗ chừng đi chụp chong thêm sạch một tiệt ta nhẹ cầm bông trơ cá đam tôn bông riệp chi bạc cam mente ai lỡ nỉ thôi nỉ kia áp bọt chân bọt nâng cá sấy cam đó chung anh tiền cầm trơ sấp cam sạch kri thôn tối nâng mất sum chỉ mới nâng áp ra cá prạ trăm trăm phần rồi còn đó nông mui chăm cầm chơi trăm phần đô la cá prạ trăm trăm mà phải mua đô la còn đó nông mui khai Thoniki áp hiệp cho nó bọt nâng cát sĩ cầm Đóng bấy cát sĩ cầu nâng áp hiệp vọt cho tự kịch xong cùng Okay, welcome back everyone to the second session and I hope you have your questions ready. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment below so that we can pin your questions and ask our handsome contestant as well as handsome host. <laughs> Alright, uh, the, the first question is from Nelly. Okay, Nelly sounds familiar from somewhere, but hi. Okay, um, in the name of youth, do you think Ministry of Education, wow, uh, youth and sports, should create more competitions in order to strengthen the student ability while they're in high school? Why or oh, why not? Okay. So basically, should, should the Ministry of Education, yeah. Moise, create competition in high school for students so that in order, in order for a, a high school student to uh, strengthen their ability? Yeah. Like, do you agree? Why or why not? Who wants to go first? Can I? Sure. Wow. And really. Thank you for your interesting question. Um, to be honest, you know, two kids are better than one. The youth and the government have to collaborate to get all together. And also, as we can see, um, the government provides like my speaking content as well on social media and post, and that, that is a part of an open way for the youth to improve their ability and they are about what they can show, what they can reveal to the audience about and then to find a solution to solve the problem in society as well. And it's really good for youth and the government have to work together because when the government create or any competition without the youth joining, how can the, the process of, of how can the, you know, this, uh, this program can work? Of course not. So we have to go together and equal to each other. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, uh, Lida. Now, Swana, do you have any, like, what is your point of view? What is your uh, reasons that no, the ministry should should not do that? Or yes, the ministry should do that. Like, what are your reasons if you support or if you oppose the idea? I think, um, well, why not? We should, like, um, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport should create programs for youth to to make them be courageous to in joining the competition, yeah, to boost their confidence, to strengthen their ability. Like um, the Moe's created the outstanding student exam, um, high school debate on um, mathematical competition like OMSHAN or SASMO, and especially the STEM, which is oh, STEM yeah. for science, technology, and engineering, and mathematics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's a good idea for movies to create competition for our youth so that our youth can join and receive the knowledge from the competition. So uh, for those who, uh, for the viewers who are working in <laughs> working in the Ministry of Education, so don't forget to create more competition for our youth to, um, you know, have, have, have the ability to shine mm -hmm. because um, uh, the potential of our youth like are so uh, increasing exponentially yes. so you should notice that and you should um, at least give them more chances in order to compete mm -hmm. all right um, looks like we are short in question so um, 
again and again if you have any question don't forget to comment down your question below uh, that is related to the topic so that we can pin the question down and, and we can use it to ask our contestants all right uh, in the meantime i have some questions yeah. for both of you again it's supposed to be in this in the first uh, session but due to the time constraint we i couldn't ask it but now i can all right um the question goes to both of you do you think learning online keeps students productive or make them becoming lazier since they're studying in their comfort zone as you all mentioned before we do our speech you said that it's not good to yeah. study online and you said that you're depressed because you couldn't go outside <laughs> so what is your answer do you think learning online keeps students productive or make them become lazier because they're studying in, studying in their comfort zone mm -hmm. which one are we, wait um i can go first okay okay it's fine. um for me learning online is um sounds boring for me and some of my friends um <laughs> like a majority of 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 student um like their 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 behavior is seems productive but since the online learning get into their life they start feeling lazy like they are staying in their comfort zone so they can't do anything like they want even they are late to class just say sorry to the teacher and some people um, at 9 a.m they haven't woken up from their bed yet so i think it makes students more lazy when studying online mm -hmm. all right now what about you Lida? um for me uh yes i think you know 50 50 about online class because it depends on yourself so you know you have to adapt to the situation even in the covid 19 this is pandemic disease is is the occurs in our country so we have to adapt to the situation you know online class is the best way for you to take advantages from it and also you know also the government provide like teaching as a group in some rural area and also my mom is a teacher too and she teach uh, some of students as a group of people in rural area that doesn't have enough school or that doesn't have access to technology as well so to educate them to find them and to let them know well about what the importance of education is moreover if they don't try themselves how can the government help them and how can social media help them mm -hmm. yes thank you all right um one more question yes. to both of you mm -hmm. um this is basically personal to you guys to see how confident you are yes. all right so the question is are you confident that your solution is practical during the COVID-19 crisis or we don't we can exclude the COVID-19 crisis like do you think your solution your three reasons your three reasons practical mm -hmm. yeah. for you to do it yes do you understand the question mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you mean that is our solution practical for Cambodian youth yes. to practice it yes and why or why not um, um, who would like to, to go first? Can, okay, can you? Yeah. Oh, please. Uh, to me, yes, you know, if the, my point that I have mentioned, if the good, yes, you can follow it. But if you, it doesn't go, just keep it out. But, you know, the things that I want to share with you is, it happens in real life. Like, you know, the work world also is getting support from the institution in Cambodia as well. And like Cambodian Scott, like I mentioned in the early Cambodian Red Cross, which allows students to do volunteering work and helping social work as well. And one more thing, you know, uh, we have to like I yeah, I, I believe that my so my point of view is very important for you to rethink it, to follow it. Okay, yes. Okay. Now Swanda, do you think it's practical? Do you think yours are practical? um for me? I I think that my three points is um, 50 50 it depends on 50 -50. the students um, personality like I, uh, at the first point I encourage everyone to engage in class activities so what about students who are introvert like they don't like crowd they just want to stay alone they are not sociable so how can they join the group learning or the class activity like other students so 
if you think my points is advantageous and good to learn from, yes, you can practice. But if you think some of my points are pointless, yes, you can leave it behind. Okay, so basically, you two are like, all right. If you if you if you think that it's a good idea, then do it. <laughs> and if you think yes. it's not a good idea, yeah. then don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you're in the middle. So it's like okay, you can do it or you can do it because it's definitely practical. Yeah. Because like to what I see, like all of your points are definitely practical. Mm -hmm. If you are, if you have some certain type of personalities, mm -hmm. we are like. But it does have some limits. But I don't think that's the problem. If you want to do it, you can do it. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So we almost reached an end of the second session as well. Uh, the second session now has become the first session since I've been asking questions. All right. Um, it's time for you two to ask each other one question. Like, bring out that ultimate question to ask your opponent. If, if he, or if your opponent couldn't answer that question, it means that you have the best question in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready to ask like which one which one of you would like to go first or would like to slam the, the <laughs> ultimate question first? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it can be me. Okay. 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 So Lida? Yes. You ask me first? Yes. yes. Okay. Um can my question is can you tell me about the process of the educational system? in proper regime and in this generation what are the different differences oh. so what are the differences between the educational system in proper regime and nowadays yes uh, okay okay um thank you for your question his question not mine yes <laughs> his question <laughs> yeah. um, okay. the the education in proper regime or we call Khmer Rouge regime from 1975 to 1979 yes. the education has suffered too much like the education has been closed down the school was distracted like like they destroyed the school they destroyed destroy the pagoda where the um, education is is being conducted there and so how can the student learn like um, the young children are forced to to um, hold the gun and <laughs> shoot the enemy. Mm -hmm. This is the education in the Bobo region. But during this 21st century, the education is far better than Pol Pot region. Like they educate the kids and children to have a morality, to have education, to have an ethic and be sociable and can develop themselves to cope well with the future career. Mm. Mm. Now, are you satisfied with, with, with this answer? Yes, of course. And other re another reason is that, you know, the school and the roads were destroyed completely and the children were taken from the house mm. and forced into the military as well. And also, you know, for more civil servants, teachers and the professionals were stripped Strip of the possession and force to the toll of as a part of the educational process. When the people hear the educational system, process it means kill at the time. Mm -hmm. And so it means that the education at the time was language that made people fall into not knowing about the education system. But however, after the Pope regime, you know, after we we found the proper regime, the government in, in our country has been looking flat out, like improved the educational system as well. And you know, as we can see in 2014, we did not have a lot of students pass the uh, national exam in grade 12. But after reforming, you know, of the educational system, they, we have the statistic of students who pass this national exam is still the rose, is still given up, you know. Mm -hmm. It means that we have, you know, education is very big, like it's very far away. And also technology is part of developing our educational system as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you're saying that it's completely different. Yes. Well, yeah, I think so too. It's because like one, we don't have teachers and the other one, we have teachers. teachers. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, now it's, it's your turn to ask Lida uh, your question. Mm -hmm. um, so my question to you is, 
um, based on the minority of Cambodian parents' mindset, the the girls are not allowed to attend school. Like like some of the Cambodian parents' mindset, like yeah, they do yeah, not yeah. allow their 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 girl, their daughter, to join school. And um, I want to know the reason behind it. Why do they think like that? And is there any solutions to this issue? Thank you for your interesting question. Mm -hmm. Give me a second to think. It. Like, well, you know, part of the mindset, you know, when we look in the past, you know, the girl did not have the right to have equal right as a man to get education, you know, but now, you know, some parents, even they are done, you know, not allow their doctor to go to school, but they have to do it because we have on behalf of youth, we have to educate them to find to make them know well about what the important application is. If your doc, if their 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 doctor, their children, their son doesn't do not get well educated, how can they develop or develop their economy in their family as well or in society? So we have to tell them about the bad effect of. And knowing about the educational system, as we can see in other countries around the world, like Japan country, they have a higher quality of education because of what? Because of the mindset of the people who are living there, they are, have a higher mindset. They know well about what the importance of education is, and they find the solution to sort of problem that they are facing. Yes, thank you. Okay, now mm -hmm. Swana, are you satisfied with his answer? Yes. Um pretty satisfied but I want to add a little bit more sure. um, the reasons of the minority Cambodians mindset that they do not allow the girls to attend school is that first um, like parents are poor so um, so that they cannot provide their children to 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 school so sometimes they need their children especially the girls to to earn money to support their family and the second reason is that their house is located too far away from school so that only boys are given accommodation in Pargoda that are located near the school. And the third point is that um, some parents, like you have mentioned, that do, they do not understand the value or the importance of education. So they do not allow their, their, their daughter to attend school. And the solution to this issue is that we should raise the awareness of parents about the advantage advantage and um, the value of education mm -hmm. what is what how how is education's advantages for for kids and we should promote the education for girl like girl also has the equal right to the boy in education field okay yes okay um beautiful questions and beautiful answers from both of you and for the viewers out there uh don't forget to like and share to our contestant poster if you uh if you um if if, if you like lida don't forget to like his poster and share his poster on the nail darwin page and if you like swanda also don't forget to like and share his poster on the nail darwin page as well okay um now we almost reach an end hang in there all right um you have you guys have one minute to sum up or do the reply speech okay Spanja, would you like to go first sure okay please okay so um to cut the long story short education is the key success of people all children have the right to learn whatever their circumstances and um the the adequate support to learning is very crucial for Cambodian kids to develop to their full potential and as we can see that the educational system in Pol Pot region has suffered too much and completely destroyed in uh, during the 1975 mm -hmm. to 1979 and after the period the Cambodian government has tried to improve it even though we haven't received our goal as what we expected but at least we, we put the effort into intensifying our education system in Cambodia and um, in every country across the world, if the basic foundation of education is strong, then everything will go smoothly. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Now, Lida, it's your turn to do the reply speech. Well, after elaboration, 
I would like to conclude my speech as well. You know, like I mentioned, to make education work, we have to follow our rules that I mentioned in the early, like the first, trying to study hard, second, do volunteering work, and the last is about taking part in many competitions, as well as, besides from youth, the government have to build in more school, building more roads, in order to provide, a, like, provide a, a study material, like science equipment for students, in order to each student to carry out experiment at school as well. And also when the road and the school are building, it means that students can access to education easily. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, both of you. Um, I wish both of you luck. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure, I, I don't know which one of you will continue and which one of you will stay behind, but best of luck to both of you. All right, um, for the viewers, this is the end of our first round. Um, or we can say the first the first leg of uh, the, the first leg of uh, the, the the program so um we we ended uh, we ended with these two so uh, for next week we would like uh, we will we will start uh, the second the second round or the uh, second leg of the NAMTO uh, program english spring competition mm -hmm. however uh due to uh d due to uh, holidays mostly are on fr uh, thursday yeah. we would like to move the program to friday oh. okay. so um next week of course we have chumban yes. and we're not going to compete <laughs> the chumban um but the week after that we will have uh we, we will have our um you know uh, we will have our competition yeah. on friday mm -hmm. all right for the for the viewers uh for the viewers don't forget to tune in friday uh the week after next week so that you don't miss the chance of how good our contestants are and how powerful and handsome they are or beautiful they are all right um this is the end of the of the competition and we we would uh, we thank you so much for spending your time listening and uh participating in the competition and we will wish you good luck as well stay safe and don't forget the happy film Monday. Yes. All right, all right. Uh, so please, uh, we would like to say goodbye and to reblear. Okay, I'm going to go. Gabon Hang Samatha Pip, Dip Kasol, Hip Klahan, Rabo Yubachun, the Tomapot, Nay Tu Tang Prote, Gambit Hip Kutrajang, Yubachun, Nepan Tawin, Sasnati Dapi, Tu Tang Prote, Rodoka Tipe, Nam Pi Fon Mapi. ធម្មជើញអូនប្អូនយុបជនសាសនាទីដាប់ពីចូលរួមប្រកួតប្រជែងសមត្ថភាពលើវិញ្ញាសារប្រឡងជ្រើសរើសពូកែសនាទីដា
and I was so interested in joining the competition, so I registered into the Netwon Tawin program. I have no confidence that I am going to become the champion. I even tell my parents that, Mom, I, if, if I'm not gonna make it, please forgive me. But I never consider myself as a champion. I always consider myself as a learner because the further I walk, the further I reach, the more knowledge I can get. ມັນສັງຄົມຕາໂຈລູງການວິທີນັ້ນຕໍຕູນບານຊັມພຽນເດປົນໄດ້ຈິເລີນນີ້ຈິການຮຽນອັນນັ້ນຄືລໍມັນ
Đã mấy cùng ai khó khăn rồi bỏ đi miễn thầm mây bà gọp đáy chùm này đấng Vì cảm vị thị nhạc bằng tàu bến Sống chốt tư căn phép nhạc bằng tàu bến Rồi anh đồng vọt tàm vị thị kháng cầu Xem rạp tù lưu sạp đáy Xem chốt lại Rồi dục vị phô lưu vĩnh Chỉ được vị xí phớ Nụ lực nhạc nâng tư tư bán bỏ đi miễn Nâng chùm này đấng thầm mây chỉ chả đàn bốn kế Nước nông nô thi vị khai xanh rồi bỏ lưu nhạc Xem rạp nâng nông công chú tớ Xem chốt lưu bật tông lại Bằng tọa mâu chốt vị phô lưu vĩnh Rồi chứ được vị xí phớ chỉ cả sạch